In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe the steps in a budgetary control process. When we see a discussion question or essay question like this, our goal is really to expand on this. We would rather write more rather than less because in an essay question, we're more likely to pick up the points for what is being looked for. And if we write more than is asked, we usually don't lose points for that. The same is true for discussion questions, in which case we're typically getting points to contribute to the conversation as long as it's relative information to do so to do with so if we go through this process we're saying describe the steps in the budgetary control process so first we might want to just basically discuss the budgetary control process obviously the sequence of the budgetary control process and then we can go into more depth if we have time in those steps first a word from our sponsor yeah actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers they don't want to be seen with us but but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. So if we think about, okay, a budgetary process, it would be a logical type of process. We're thinking about the whole process of setting up and uh, executing the budget. So the first thing we're going to do is basically develop the budget, right? We're going to develop a budget and obviously the development of the budget will be based on the prior year information and projections into the future uh, but we have to start somewhere this is going to be a circular type of item that we're going to have right so we're going to think of well we have the budget we're going to have to prepare the budget and then we're going to have to run the actual period the actual period will then go by and as that happens then we'll then compare the budget that we put together compared to the actual numbers that happened we'll look at the differences we'll look at the changes we'll look at how our budget lines up to what actually happened we'll make we'll analyze that we'll make decisions based on that we'll think about how we can do better in the future based on the prior information budget versus actual and based on future uh, thought in terms of what's going to happen next year in terms of the economy and, and any kind of relevant factors we'll take those into consideration then we'll plan and put together a new budget and then we'll go through this process again so that's going to be the general kind of process that we'll think of with the budgetary process now if you have more time you could go into different types of budgets you can talk about a flexible budget versus a fixed budget you can go into variance analysis breaking down uh, this information into more detail in terms of what each process or what each step would be what would be the steps to putting together the budget what would the actual budget look like what would a fixed budget versus a flexible uh, budget type look like what would be the decision making process to put to to try to think about how we're going to make changes in the future we take the variance what are there further variances that we can we can look into to to dig into those uh change processes what kind of things in the future might uh adjust our decision in terms of putting the budget together as well who might be involved in in this process and putting the budget together so those are some areas that of course you can uh, think into and dig into and expand on uh, if it was a discussion question or an essay question.